greetings, owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles. Well, my friends, we have a juicy situation on our hands indeed. I mean, if you just look at today's been a crazy day for Magic News. There's all kinds of news about Commander products. I haven't even looked into that stuff yet today. Today's been a busy day for me too. I had to go out and do some mundane things like visiting the dentist, all that stuff. And I have to say, the agony of looking into what was going on was destroying me because the Theros leaks just dropped. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, we've got something like 30 different Theros cards spoiled. We've even got the booster packaging spoiled. All of that has been made available today. Now, there's a lot of speculation going on about how this all came about. And I am here to shovel more speculation onto the speculative pile because there's a number of different possibilities. So basically the scenario is this. This is, this is the scenario as it's been presented to us the public, okay? So the story is, now bear in mind, I cannot verify whether this story is true or not. I tried digging around in different places, Reddit, Twitter, and it seems like a bunch of the original posts have been deleted, so it's impossible for me to ascertain exactly what has gone on. So you need to understand that what I state in this video, it's not gonna be fact. I'm not stating for a fact X, Y, and Z has happened. I'm going to lay it out for you the same way it's been laid out for me, and we're gonna talk about the possibilities that come as a result of this. So the original tale, the original myth, well, I guess I can't say it's a myth. Also, I guess I should say this, it's something I didn't even think about, since uh, my channels reach a certain size, when I do videos on stuff now, the people I'm talking about in the videos actually sometimes end up seeing the videos. So if you are the guy who is responsible for this leak, don't take anything I say personally. If it sounds like I'm saying particular things and you're like, you're casting aspersions on my character, any of that, just understand I don't have the facts and as a result, I can't say anything specifically. I can't know for certain. So I'm gonna lay out a number of different scenarios and we'll just kind of talk about it amongst ourselves. See, hopefully someone will come along with concrete information if it's even available in the scenario. But anyways, I feel like I've talked a lot without getting to what was put out there as the story. The story goes like this. A magic player, or at least presumably a magic player, because why would they be buying magic products if they weren't a magic player? A magic player went into a Walgreens. Now, we don't really have Walgreens here in Canada, but to me, they're going to be the equivalent of your Walmart, of your Target, some kind of big box store. So this individual went into a Walgreens and somehow mystically managed to find, I believe the number was six booster packs of Theros. Now, when I looked at the images, I could only find three booster wrappings, but the amount of cards that, that have come out apparently is enough to be multiple boosters. I, I don't know. There's, there's multiple waves of spoilers going on. There's a lot, of, a lot of murk in the water, so we can't really see to the bottom. Anyways, the story goes, guy goes in, sees these booster packs, snags them up, just buys them regularly from Walgreens, cracks them, and then his friend posted them. As far as I understand, the first leaked post that we got for this was someone saying, my friend went to Walgreens and bought these packs. Here are the spoiled images. Now, first, honestly, I started to look at the cards and go, well, we've had a lot of spoiler seasons before where people have tried to pass off fakes and the fakes are getting better and better. Even just if you look at counterfeit cards that are being printed over in China, they're doing a better and better job of mimicking real magic cards. But after looking over all the spoilers, reviewing the cards, it seems like they, they don't have any real holes you can poke in them in terms of going, okay, the wording is a problem here, or there's a problem with the font. I mean, at this point, these images have been seen by a large number of people, and if they were fakes with this many people having seen them, then most likely we would have already ferreted that out. So at this point, the one thing I do feel comfortable saying and like as a fact, and this is the only part I really feel comfortable saying as a fact, is we do have early Theros leaks. These cards do appear to be the genuine article. So we have a scenario where 
a friend is posting packs that his friend got. Now, we don't have any kind of uh, corroborating information in terms of, let's say, a receipt from the Walgreens saying, bought X number of packs of Return to Theros, or not Return to Theros, Theros Beyond Death, as it's called. So we don't, we don't have any images like that. Plus, there's the fact that these images have been deleted afterwards. Now, it's the internet. So these deleted images, they're not gone forever. People have reposted them. They're around. You can find them super easy. But the point remains that this was kind of brought up in a sketchy-ish manner, where it wasn't the person who got them going, check it out, I bought these packs, here's the receipt, here's everything that happened, it's a friend is posting the pictures. So that, to me, is already kind of like waving a little bit of a flag. Now, again, remember, I don't have all the facts. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay out possible scenarios here. One of the scenarios is theft. Theft from the actual production facilities. We have seen this before. Now again, if you're the dude who got these packs and it's legit, by all means, feel free to contact me. I'm not casting aspersions on your particular character. I'm simply laying out the fact that this could indeed be a situation where we have stolen product. We have seen this happen in the past. People are excited to get the information out there, or in some cases, looking for a buyer for this early product. It was, what was it, Ixalan, or was it Rivals of Ixalan? It was either Ixalan or Rivals of Ixalan. It was definitely the Ixalan block, where full uncut sheets were stolen from the production facilities, and we got them spoiled like mega early. That's a bigger wave of spoilers than now. I think at most there's 30 to 45 cards spoiled in this batch. I don't know. I haven't really counted them up or had time to really pour over most of the cards in detail. I looked at a couple of the cards and was like, okay, I get the vibe behind this. We're going to talk about the spoilers in like another episode. We'll talk about individual cards, the returning mechanics, all that. I'm more interested right now in exploring this scenario and the different possibilities. So one of the possibilities, as I said, is this is theft where you have the packs being stolen directly from the production facilities. Now this to me has merit as an actual possibility because of the time frame. I mean when it comes to boosters being available, right? Normally what happens is the distributors will get a set maybe maybe 3 weeks before the set comes out and that's so they can get all their ducks in a row, get ready to send out all the product they need to send out, right? Like you have to understand that storing products for a big company and things like that it costs it costs a lot of money. It's not the sort of overhead cost they're looking for. So magic sets are printed in a way where get them printed by a certain date, then you can get them on the trucks to the distributors and all that, and you don't have to hold them in a warehouse for months. So Wizards doesn't print this stuff way, 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 way in advance and just set it aside and go, okay, well, we printed this six months ago and it's ready to go, ship it off. That's not the scenario as far as I understand it. It's a try and minimize the amount of time between when the stuff is printed and when it ends up in the hands of the consumer to minimize costs. And that's a sound business strategy that is used by a wide range of companies. So it's reasonable to expect that's what's going on here. So if we have a scenario where the booster boxes can't really be, they're not, they're not going to be in the hands of the distributors yet or anything like that. The only place this stuff could really theoretically be and most likelihood is still in the production facilities. So to me, honestly, right now, from all the information that's presented, the most likely scenario is that this has been stolen, okay? That's the most likely scenario. Now, I can't state that and will not state that as a fact, but I personally strongly suspect that these are stolen. There are other possibilities as well. There is the possibility of some kind of error where perhaps what happened was another wave of Throne of Eldraine was being shipped out and somehow a few booster packs somehow ended up in the mix somewhere. But it's, it's hard to wrap my head around because when it comes to these big box stores, it's like when it comes to Walgreens and Walmarts and things like that, it's not Walgreens or Walmart buying this stuff directly from Wizards of the Coast. There's a third party vendor involved. The third party vendor is the one who gets the product, brings it into the Walmart or whatever with a shelf by this date or whatever, or they may even be the ones who put it on the shelves, a la companies like MJ Holdings. 
So I have a difficult time believing that this third party vendor would get their hands on Theros packs this much before they're supposed to be out and then just put them on the shelves. And there was only six packs? Like, you're not able to go back and buy more packs. They didn't have a bunch of displays available. We're only getting reports of this from one person, really. Like, that's it, right? One person or the person's friend. But this is only coming from one source. And there's a very limited amount of it. And given the circumstances, it's difficult to envision how it would make its way onto the shelves at the store. I mean, if you're if you're somebody who normally stocks magic products, you're gonna know you're gonna know what the newest product is. You're gonna know Theros doesn't come out until next year, right? They would even have dates for shelving, and it wouldn't involve these because there would be it'd be like, wait, I don't even have any information for whether this should go out yet. What what's going on here? So I mean, unless the the third party the third party vendors just box everything up and drop it off at the big box store and then the big box store unbox it and puts it on the shelf i can't even see how we get to that point now there is another theory that is being circulated around so we will put that out there as well because it is theoretically possible we have the the possibility of theft we have the possibility of a mistake which is i mean wizards makes mistakes we've seen it before it can happen we have the possibility that this was an intentional leak on Wizards of the Coast's part. Now that could be for a number of reasons. It could be simply to get the hype train rolling for Theros, where it's like, you know what, let's give them a little taste. Before we start the spoiler season, let's give them a little taste. But at the same time, Wizards has been really, really tight with its spoilers lately. They've gotten a lot better at not letting things get spoiled early, which actually is, the, is an argument for and against this. I mean, if they intentionally did it, then this is still them firmly holding the reins. But on the other hand, by spoiling this many cards this early, that that's a number of cards, like, they figure out who they're going to give spoilers to, right? When it comes to handing out spoiler cards for all of the different magic creators, all the different outlets, they have all these different people who are on the list. And by letting these cards get spoiled, if it's just in random booster packs, they can't actually control what's getting spoiled because they don't know what's in the booster packs. It doesn't allow them to stage the sort of like, okay, we'll start with this, we'll lead into this, these people will have these spoilers. So it's very disruptive to their current spoiler model. That doesn't automatically rule it out though. They could, I've, I've heard, now I haven't seen any evidence of this and I can't confirm it, but I've heard they've done similar sort of stunts in the past. This could theoretically be a marketing stunt to either generate hype for Theros or as something to kind of draw attention away from the Oko scenario. I have seen people talking about how maybe Wizards of the Coast has dropped these these leaks in advance in an attempt to draw people's attention from Oko either to just make them forget that Oko is running over standard or to get them hyped for Throne of Eldraine so that they're already in the mindset for the next set because normally Wizards doesn't like to ban cards that are from the newest set that's the set they're selling the most of. So maybe to mentally manipulate the audience, the consumer, they're going ahead and having this Thero stuff come out early so that you're hyped about Theros and if Oko gets the ban specifically or other cards have to be banned around Oko, it has less of an impact in terms of people going, oh, I'm leaving Magic now. They might be like, oh man, I wanted to use Oko. Them like messing the Oko deck up makes me unhappy. I don't like that they keep doing bans. I'm gonna leave, but oh wait, I did like I did like Theros, and they're bringing back Devotion, and I saw the Elspeth Planeswalker. So these could be used basically as a way to keep the fish on the line, right? So to me, in order of like what I think is the most likely out of the three, I start at most likely, I think this is stolen goods we're dealing with. I think that's the most likely scenario. After that, I go mistake, somehow mistake and then final option on the list is okay this was intentionally done because they're all possibilities remember this is speculation because we don't have concrete evidence now if anybody watching this has other thoughts on what may have happened or even better if anybody knows if more information has come to light and we can concretely say it's one of these options or something different i want to know I want to have an accurate appraisal of what's going on here, but the information, it's like looking at a puzzle. And it's like, what am I looking at? Is this a draft? Is this a goat? Is that is that a dude on a ladder? I don't know what I'm looking at here because I don't have 
all the pieces. So let me know what you guys think or know down in the comment section below. I will take a look at your comments. I appreciate that you all leave them. Speaking of appreciation, I want to say thank you to all my patrons and channel members. We are welcoming aboard Ron Beasley. And I don't normally do this, but I want to actually include a message that he sent me after joining my Patreon because I thought that it was a really nice message and I want to share it with you guys while these names are rolling on by. So it says, good morning. I just wanted to let you know that I've been really enjoying your channel. I started playing Magic back in the early days when Revised was the current set. Hey, me too. My friend and I bought our first booster box of Ice Age together in 7th grade after many weekly $5 payments to our LGS. I love that. The idea of just coming in and here's another $5 until you finally get to that booster box. That's neat, man. I really enjoy that. I stopped playing about 10 years ago when my wife and I started our family. Now I'm teaching my son to play and he's just finished building his first standard legal mono blue tempo deck. Yeah, mono blue, the mono blue, he's, he's leading his kid down the dark path, I will say that. All right, we often watch your videos together. They have helped reignite my passion for magic and helped fan the small flame in my son. Thank you for your fun and informative videos. I'm happy I can, keep, I can help keep them going in some small way. Respectfully, Ron Beasley. Well, thank you very much. Honestly, I found this to be very touching and nice to the point where I wanted to share it with everybody here. And to all of you, I say thanks for being here. And remember, together, we are the Sixth Color of Magic.